Hey guys, how are you all? I'm back with this new video and we are going to see the option toolbar in this video and following other options we are going to see. The first one is mirror option. Mirror is uh, as the name suggests, it, it is the reflected image of your sketch. The second one is the symmetry option. The symmetry option is nothing but when you draw a line or any object then uh, that line will be translated into the other object uh, or other position and the first uh, op uh, first image will be removed the third one is the translate uh, as the name suggests you have to just translate the one of part into the other position and uh, it can be copied also the fourth one is the rotate option it is used for the circular objects and you can rotate uh, the your part to a particular angle the fifth one is scale option uh, in this option you can reduce or increase the size of the object the sixth one is offset if you want to change the position of any object then you can use this option the seventh one is chamfer and fillet if you want to give the curve or a chamfer to an object you can use this option called chamfer the icons are shown in front of their names as follows let's see this option one by one as you can see this is the operation toolbar we are going to see <coughs> it's on the left corner the first one is the mirror option so first we have to create a object and we have created a line then we have to select the option mirror option first we have to click the option uh, object then we have to click the access point then you can see this mirror image to click the object then we have to click the access then you can get the mirror image the second one is the symmetry option first we have to create an object then we have to select it and select the axis you can see that the part is transferred exactly at the symmetrical point similarly for this object then third one is the translate option if you create an object it will be translated to another position and you can also get a copy image at a particular distance first we have to click at the object then you have to mention number of instances you can click on the duplicate mode uh, and you have to click at the position you want it okay and then mention the length or the distance between two points okay and then click on the part then you can see this there is a translated object the fourth one is the rotate option for its use for circular objects we have drawn it so we have to click on the rotate option then you have to click on the object you have to make a uh, click on the center from where you are going to rotate you have to mention number of instances and then you have to click on the other perpendicular part to get an equal angle and you can see this there are three uh, rotated parts as shown the fifth one is scale option it's used to increase the or decrease the size of an object first i'm going to draw a line then i'm going to click on this scale option i'm going to click on the scale option and i'm going to click at the point from where you are you are going to scale the object then you are going to give a value for the scale say 0.5 and you can see it's reduced in the size similarly for this object draw a line draw <coughs> draw a point give a value I've given it two and you can see the increase in size I'm going to confirm it, confirm it and you can see this it's 224 for smaller and it's 2 uh, 444 point something 449 for something so uh, sixth one is offset you have to create a line first then you have to click on the offset option then you have to click on the line and you can transfer it by dragging the mouse and give the value to the constant according to your requirement
the seventh one is chamfer of fillet option and fillet option so i'm going to create an object and will be giving a chamfer and fillet to it i'm draw a rectangle i'm going to give a chamfer to this object first click a first side then second side and drag it and you can see this there is a chamfer generated and you can change the constraint according to your requirement and i'm giving it 20 so you can see it the dimension has changed now i'm going to change the angle of the chamfer i'm going to give it 60 and press ok and then then you can see it the chamfer has generated uh, similarly for the fillet option first select the first uh, first side then second side and you can see there is a generated fillet and you can change the radius according to your requirement by pressing uh, clicking on the radius option similarly for this side and this side I'm going to create a chamfer and give it a different constraint say 20 and similarly for this and this side I'm going to give a radius so how, this is how it gets generated so thank you for watching this video if you like like my video please press like button and subscribe to my channel let's learn comment your queries if you have any questions and share this video with your friends thank you